Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Divine Journey 2 playthrough. I am just currently in the Aether. As we can see, our mob farm is doing pretty well here. I am just going to take a bunch of this back. I don't have this set up to get it back to the overworld, obviously. Uh, so I am going to have to do that. But I am currently... I got a Blizz, because that was seemed to be kind of like the next one I wanted to get a Powered Spawner. I'm kind of just working on Powered Spawners at the moment, to be honest. I don't know. I just think they're like... One, I love powered spawners, and two, uh, not having to like worry about mob farms and chunk loading and all sorts of stuff in different dimensions. I'm like, it is just easier to do this at the main base. I will probably have to set up a a one in the Nether, possibly. I do have like a very small one, but it's it doesn't. I don't have like the uh, what sh what's the thing called the the mob grinder or whatever it's called? I don't have one of those in the Nether. I basically just sh shoot them with the laser gun. All right. I kind of wish these were all together, <laughs> but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of personal preference. I prefer. I like trying to keep them. Kind of group together. Anyway, that is that. So I, like I said, working on my yeah. There we go. Working on. I don't think we'll need more here. We'll just grab more. This one, so I can throw. Nope, that's not what I want. This, that, that. And that will get us the, the spawner for the Blizz, and then I will go set up. I also was thinking, I'm like, it's kind of like, why am I putting the stuff in the other mobs? It doesn't need to go in that mob farm. Especially with wireless RF, I'm like, I can just build a whole separate one. It doesn't need to be that far down or anything. So I probably will actually do that. Um, also, kind of like trying to decide how I want to do all the, the spawners. Probably, I don't know, because when they like spawn, if they spawn over here and then the fans are like, ah, I can't do anything. <laughs> so it's a bit annoying when they're kind of on the ground. Maybe I could put them like down one. Maybe that's what I would do, because don't they, they do spawn like, that doesn't have a thing on it yet, but uh, don't they spawn like three above or something like that? Maybe I'll do that. It does limit the amount of spaces it can spawn, though. Holy cow, that was... felt like that. It took forever. I could also put more things in that. All right, there we go. I know I just wasted some... I just wasted some levels, but... Yeah, so they do spawn... Is it three above, two above? So maybe I'll just... I'll put them, like, down... That way, they will spawn above, and then the fans will just push them all into the the thing. So that is what we're going to do. Ooh, not that one. There we go. Okay, so that is kind of what I'm doing, and I just keep like clicking on this and being like, do we have everything? So I needed the blizz rods. Uh, that is why I went to got that, and oh, now I'm out of hyper diamonds. I do remember we crafted up a whole bunch of these, just because they require the explosion. Oh, and this color, ah, that clathrate stuff. Yeah, it needs seed oil, and I was just doing it manually, but we're gonna. It's like let's just we have to get it automated. So hyper diamonds. I don't know how I'm gonna do that to be honest with the explosion. So, as we know, you drop this industrial grade graphite dust with a explosion. Uh, hmm. 
I may, again, just craft up like 64 of these and just throw them in the EA system. I might not even worry about it at this point. Uh, but uh, the other thing I do need to... Didn't I? There. I was like, yeah, this I actually have to do. So, uh, tree oil probably on the resonant clathrate. There is the rosin, but you have to get that 50%. And then you get the tree oil anyway. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Let me uh, let me figure out how I want to go about doing this. I almost feel like that would be the easiest. We do get resonant clathrate uh, from resonant endstone. I don't have this being produced or anything like that. But uh, we do get quite a decent amount from it. Okay, we are back really quick. Just set up a couple extractors. And I did the augment auxiliary seeds. I did put the reception coils in there to speed it up. And I'm like, there's no way that <laughs> we need those at all. But with the four, we are getting the resin, rosin, resin? I think it's rosin, isn't it? Rosin with each one but i think i probably eh, i don't know i'm still not sure i'm like should we just do i was just gonna do that and then keep the thing or we could just do you know what maybe i'll just save the tree oil i was just thinking i'm like because if we just do the tree oil, then we can, it doesn't need to be running. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide which I, I want to do, but I guess in the meantime, let's just set up the, I mean, we have a decent amount of that, but the only thing is the, like, um, we need to have it like keep running to get the rosin. Eventually we would. Or not that. And then we'll just have tree oil. So, But then I just have rosin for no reason. So, I don't know. Uh, I think we'll just do this one. Let's do that. And then if I change my mind, yeah. we'll. Because, yeah, eventually this is going to fill up with tree oil. Then this will fill up with tree oil. And then this will fill up and it'll stop running. Uh, and then I think I have this stuff. Uh, it's not something we use a lot of, so I'm not overly, there's no reason to like think about it too much, because we only use them every once in a while. They're for those uh, those things. We, we might actually need to use them a lot more later, but uh, yeah, we'll see. They're for those, yeah, these printed estimation circuits, which we use in the advanced circuits which we use in random stuff. Okay, so there is that. Uh, I need to go set up the Blizz spawner. Turn off my magnet. So, yeah, maybe I'll move it. It doesn't need to be down here. Kind of... <laughs> the only reason I wanted it close is because I didn't want to have to set up like a whole new mob killer and a... Uh, I think I may just drop it right there. You know what? As I'm like, uh, I don't want to have to transport all the items and get hoppers and things. Yeah. If I have like three in there, it'll be fine. Also, I just realized I forgot to grab the... What are those called? Capacitors. Yeah, we'll do just a double. And I am just finishing up, it just finished, the two parts, the gelid cryothium tanks. So there is that and that. So the last part is the memory thing. We'll go ahead and craft that. It does look like we have everything. We got our hides, leather. Looks like we got everything. All our pink slime that we need. Actually doesn't, now that everything's fully automated, it actually doesn't look too bad. The Hyper Diamonds, though, let's go ahead and 
It's this. Let me do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Let me do it. There we go. Yeah, that might take a second, but we'll just use the... No. No. I was really hoping we would get the industrial grade in there. I believe that's probably just making the stuff for... Yeah, that's making the the diamond and the black quartz for that. All right, there we go. Cool. So that is going to make the industrial graphite. And then this graphite ore is actually pretty easy. Graphite, dark stone, hop graphite. Just a bunch of redstone or uh, coal in there. Okay, I will throw some of this in here. The only annoying bit doing that is that uh, I have no way to put it back into the like the crafting process. All right, cool. So I'll do that. And then there is this. Now let's go over here. Like I said, I'm just going to manually do this. Let me just double check this is correct. Yep. Magnet off. Throw that down and then the bluey. There is 64 of those. So I don't really see a super big need to fully automate that at the moment when I can just throw that all in there and it will be fine. Okay, so let me finish getting this all done. This is going to take a eh, decent amount of time. I will kind of see where we can improve, like split up recipes so they are working at the same time. Unfortunately, I don't have two of the enhanced, but yeah, they are working away. Everything just seems to be working, so I am happy so far. Okay, there is the 12 thing. Uh, I wanted to make sure we got the quest done. Uh, so, yep, there is the 12. I was just reading uh, the 400,000 or 4,000 items. I'm like, uh, for how expensive that feels. Uh, like, that doesn't feel like a whole lot of items. Yeah, because I'm like, you can fit that in a drawer really, really quickly, and it doesn't cost near as much. But, uh, all right, there we go. There is the, the thing. Uh, I will do a bunch of the quests. Um, but I'll take a look at the... Actually, let's just do... Yeah, there was only one that I had to choose. Um, yeah, I don't really remember the recipes, to be honest. So we'll just do the top one. All right, and then oh, we got crafting be in here somewhere. I don't know which one that is. Uh, or crafting cards is pretty cool. But, uh, all right. So we got our Twilight clock. And we want to, I guess, enter Eden. And I forgot. I remember reading... Well, the time was over. Yeah, from RF Tools. I'm looking forward to that, making our own dimensions. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, this one. There we go. Yeah, it's the Divine Rock. I was like, I can't remember what block it was. Um, 
Where did I put it? Now is the question. And Divine Rock. Because we did the quest, but uh oh, where is my Divine Rock? Okay, not entirely sure where it went, although I am thinking maybe it got ore dictionaried in auto crafting. Uh, so that is something to <laughs> be careful of. Thankfully, I had most of the stuff for crafting it up again. So let's go ahead and build this. Apparently it is built like the, the nether portal. And that. That is not the color I thought that was going to be. But alright, here we go. It might take a second for it to load in. All right, there we go. It uh, it took a second for it to register, but here we go. We are in Eden. Now I don't know how hostile this is going to be. Go ahead and make a waypoint since. I don't know how far we're going to be flying around. It seems kind of similar to the other, but I am noticing like this is something Eden torch, Eden lamp, Eden chest, nothing in it though. Uh, don't know what we're actually going to need here. I don't know what this is done. There we go. I don't know. It does say something about dungeons, so. <laughs> Craft up an Eden chunk when used on a Sunstorm spawner. It'll summon the Sunstorm. Eden gem. Eden fragments. Eden soul. Alright. And find a large Eden temple and explore. You'll need to go through the top section first and find your way to gain access to the maze below. I feel like something is getting closer. All right, so it does look like we got hostile mobs. <laughs> what is that? All right, doesn't seem like too, they don't seem too deadly. So I need to, oh, there's these Eden Soul things. Seems like I just need to kill a lot. So what was that? Uh, yeah, do like I need like an Eden chest or something like that. Eden, let's do. No uses for the chest. Not sure. Maybe there's stuff underneath. I don't know. Okay, so it wants us to find a temple of some sort. What is this stuff? Any uses for Eden Lamp? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Well. Uh, this thing. Holy cow. I'm assuming this is it. Well. There's, uh... Some bad guys. <laughs> All right, 
I feel like... Yeah, I was like, I feel like this should open up. Uh, you'll need to go through the top section first. Then drop down to the very top of the maze level. Complete it and summon. Defeat the special Sunstorm boss at the end who drops a key to continue. Alright. Question is... How do we get into the temple, though? I'm assuming that's a temple. Could be wrong, though. These things are a bit creepy. Alright, we got bookshelves, more chests. Ooh, these have... That's kind of cool. Pink slime ingots and stuff. Industrial other I'll take. Yeah, there's some uh there are some cool things in here that we actually do use. I'm not gonna take the arrows. So we have our this thing. Um something opened up. Is that and there's Thomcraft crystals. <laughs> Did that open this thing up at the top? Yep. Alright. So we're sort of making our way through. So that. And there is a whole lot of... There is a whole lot of sounds. Alright. Well, I guess let me... Let me explore a bit, I guess? Ah! This seemed like really strong. Why are you taking damage? Alright, let me explore more. And, uh, we'll see. And there is a stairs up. So, I guess we will continue up, I think. And just start clearing out again. Seems like a Pretty, pretty straightforward thing here, but there is a lot of mobs, as we can see from the spawners. But I'm just kind of clearing everything out. And it does seem when you... If you break these, it does spawn. spawn one, which is something. So, I guess, uh, yeah, let me continue with this and see what we can find. Okay, we are back, and uh, it took me a little while to get here because of all the mobs that were spawning. It wasn't too difficult, but there are definitely... Uh, ladders down that you have to take and then you have to like go back up the ladders to do like another area of this level and then down again I did that about three times uh, So that was that but uh, I eventually found this I have been getting some pretty cool loots in general 
Steaming Restonia, this advanced inactive thing. We got Ender Rope, Ender Alloy. So some decent, like, you're not going to attack me, right? Um, some decent loot. A uh, whole bunch of spawners. I didn't get all of them. Eventually, I just stopped. I was just running past them. But, uh, yeah. So we got this kind of area. Uh, I have explored down here. Uh, maybe I should just fully light this area up. Uh, I don't know how difficult this boss is going to be. And I don't know how there's stuff underneath, to be honest. I don't think I was underneath. I thought I was, like, up there in the floor above, but... I don't know. But... Here we go. Once you're ready, press the button to summon the boss. So I guess let's go. I'm a little bit worried if I die, I'm not going to be able to make my way out. But yeah, I guess let's uh, do that. All right. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I would like to actually see it attack. You can attack? Hello? Oh! It is actually attacking. I didn't realize that was... I didn't know that was like... Attack, but... Alright, well this feels... That felt derpy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We got a sun something statue, and uh, there is the Eden door key. You'll need to go through the top second first, find your way to the access to the maze below, then drop down from the very top to the maze level, complete it, and summon defeat the in who drops the boss to continue. All right, do we need more of? We might need more of these, actually. Alright. Do we need to do this again? Man, do I need to go find another? I may need to find another boss now. Yeah, we can't break that. I guess I will uh, head on out. Yeah, I guess... I mean, we got four, and it... The quest one's five, so that's a little bit worrisome. But, uh... Unholy Essence? I didn't see that. I'm not found in Eden Dungeons. Alright, yeah, I didn't find... Didn't find any of that. So... We need to get another Eden Heart and this Unholy Essence. And then I think we're going to have to start progressing through Abyssal Craft is kind of what I'm guessing here. Because uh, that requires... Yeah, this requires both these quests, so... We're going to have to start doing that, it looks like. And that requires this. Alright. And that... This... No, this quest requires that. Alright, but this requires this, yeah. So it does seem like we are definitely at a little bit of a... We're going to have to start progressing into Abyssal Grath. Uh, also, like, let me out of here. Alright. Uh, let me get out of here and see if I can find another one. I don't know about the Unholy Essence, so I am going to have to go look that up. So as I was flying around, I found this kind of, I don't know, not temple, but it had a Sunstorm spawner. So I don't know if that is the same boss. I did get one of these Eden Chunks in the temple. Uh, I 
pretty sure it was i don't think it was a drop i think it was in a a chest um so i did get one of those uh, should we see if that spawns the thing yeah all right so that looks like that spawns the same boss as that's in the temple there uh i did read that the hearts are they are uh, affected by looting so you can get up to seven in the temple i only got four unfortunately but uh, we got eden blitz and the statue and the hearts are guaranteed just the amount isn't guaranteed for that all right so that is locked and then this unholy presence uh not entirely sure so i'm gonna head back and uh i guess we're gonna start heading through abyssal craft because it does look like they kind of converge at we're adding here obviously it does seem like they kind of converge at this point um for that as we can see having the portal marked makes this much easier uh i'm assuming there's more more uh dungeons in here just not i'll have to look on the wiki for that But uh, pretty cool. New area. Always pretty cool to see. It does look exactly like the Aether, though. So, not... It uh, doesn't look completely different than stuff we know. Okay, we are back. I'm just cleaning up my inventory and seeing what has uses and what doesn't. This Eden Blitz doesn't have uses, but these statues actually do do have a use so probably gonna need these at some point also the eden door key i hovered over it and says right click to clear any eden door blocks uh i'm wondering if that was the that thing in the floor that i probably should have used it on so i will go back and do that but yeah so here is where these things come together so the Eden hearts are used in the advanced crafting for this. So we got our Eden chunks we're going to have to get more of. Uh, I have gotten some of this stuff. We got 40 of them from all the mobs we are killing, and these give some of these. So we can craft up. Oh, I thought that was, wasn't that? I thought that was the, oh, this. One, two, three, four, five. And then that is one. So lots more killing we're going to have to do, which is fine. Uh, I don't really matter, but don't think I have looting on that. That would probably make that a bit easier. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to dump all this stuff in there. Um, and I'm going to throw this in a chest over here because I don't think I'm going to need it, but I don't want to like delete it yet. But yeah, so it seems like we're going to have to start going into advanced crafting at least. Uh, I do have recipes for, or I made a recipe for that, as we can see, <laughs> quite not the easiest to craft. So let me finish this one up. What's that called? Black crap. What is it called? Black iron frame. Um, I don't even remember what the recipe looked like. Oh, these under casings, yep. Yeah. These iron casings are no joke. This is, I guess, the most... This feels like the, the hardest casing we've gotten to yet. The under casing, but... Yeah, and the hard mythical grass, black iron, and gets not too bad. I have noticed very, very rarely something gets messed up and pulled out of order and it breaks the crafting. Uh, so for some some reason, clay ended up in there and it broke the, the thing. Um, and I don't know why it happened. It's, it is like super, super rare. I can craft up like a thousand items on this thing and it'll 
it might break like once kind of thing so it's very very rare and i'm not i'm not sure how it happened there but it did happen um unfortunately uh so we are crafting that up now we also need i was just looking ahead uh these double compressed crafting tables so as we know the craft tables do require quite a bit of wood so keep that in mind but uh all right there is the black iron frame is this required in anything oh there's the seed analyzer from megraf that's kind of cool okay so that is used a lot in that all right so that's is that the next next frame we are kind of working towards but uh i think i have i had enough of this stuff uh, I just didn't have, I didn't have room in the, the computer thing. So, okay, there is that. And then, there we go. Uh, so there's the basic crafting, and then we, oh, we need more. All right, so didn't realize that was thing but uh yay ender crafter unfortunately the ender indicates are a little bit more complicated than we realized but uh luminescence have we got luminescence i don't think we have yet oh well that's not as scary as i thought it was going to be that is 16 let's do we'll do a recipe for that but we need to add 16 glowstone we got quite a few from our our thing it does seem like it's actually turned off so we might have mined out the entire i'm curious if we mined out the entire the vein or whatever ah so fast yeah it doesn't seem like it's running anymore so it looks like the excavator excavated the entire vein out so interesting i've never done that before this thing is just chugging along look at that can't even work fast enough i can't i don't have enough uh <laughs> speed upgrades on the thing oh well okay so i'm gonna continue crafting this up and uh we'll get the extended crafting or the advanced one and that looks like we will be getting into abyssal craft so that looks like the next bit i think i'm not sure we might actually need to go this way i'm not sure let me uh we'll take a look and we will see Yeah, we'll see how this goes, because I am seeing it's locked behind this quest. And this quest. All right, so we're going to have to do this, and this, and this unlocks that. All right, cool. So uh, we'll do that next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one.